One year ago, software programmer Ashe Maure came from India to Germany and stayed. Language is the main barrier. But if we compare it from other countries, then I find the country is good. People are good. The only thing is this German thing, the language, and you have to learn. In the starting, I was thinking it would be very, very easy in three to six months, I will be comfortable to speak in German. <laughs> it's not an easy thing. <laughs> it takes years. <laughs> this man helped him. Chin Mei doctor knows both cultures. He came to Germany decades ago as a mechanical engineer. He's turned his experience into a business and now finds Indian specialists like Ashe for German companies. They pay up to five-figure sums in commission for his service as they can't find suitable applicants in Germany. And for foreign software developers, for example from Asia, Germany is very attractive. There's clearly more leisure time here and a better quality of life. In India, most large companies are in big cities, and when you go to work, you have to commute at least one and a half or two hours every day. This is not the case in Germany, and that's just one reason why the quality of life here is significantly better. Dietmar Dirks owns a textile business. He's trying to find new workers from abroad as well. He needs more manpower to help keep up with orders. No, we don't have young workers from Germany anymore. That's because at some point in the past, manufacturers had less work and hired fewer apprentices. Half of the factory's employees are from abroad. Without the help of a recruiter, Dietmar Derks has found an Armenian who can do the job and wants to hire him. Hello, Dietmar. I'm well, how are you? Very good. I've already found you an apartment here in Germany. For 18 months, Dietmar Derks has been trying to bring Rafik from Armenia to Germany. But German authorities do not recognize his credentials. Plus, the slow bureaucracy is frustrating for the business owner who wants to sponsor the work visa. Germany needs hundreds of thousands of new skilled workers. It'll need even more in the future as 4 million people will retire in the next decade and there aren't enough young people to replace them. Back at the computer company where Ashe Maure works, he's settled well into Germany and dreams of staying. He wants to bring his family to Germany, just like his colleague from Ghana, and enroll his children in school here. His advice to others? It's up to you how you want to be here, how you want to make your communications. In Germany, if you ask anything, they will help you.